Hey, it's Nicole L. Gatson with another Power Hour. And this evening we are with JL. And she's the woman who has assist Deborah and judges with um, freeing the people. And JL was not married to a man who was on God's side. She was married to a man who was actually working with the enemy against the people of Israel. And as you'll read in Judges chapter 4 through chapter 5, read them in their entirety. And it'll tell you the whole story of Deborah and how they won the land and everything back. But J.L. was one of the um, women who is a great role model that we can follow today. And I'm going to read some of the things that she did so you can see that she used what was at her disposal to accomplish what she understood to be her fight, despite anything. We don't know much about this woman whose account is found in this book of Judges 4 through 5, but um, we don't know whose daughter she was. All we know is that she was the wife of Heber the Kenite. And many years earlier, Moses had married a Canaanite woman. And a number of these nomadic people later settled among the Israelites in the promised land in Judges 1 and 6. So through the, the, Cana the Canaanites were longtime allies of Israel. Heber was on the side of the enemy. Now that's her husband. Pay attention. And most likely, he told Sisera, the commander of the enemy army, where the Israel army was camping. So more than likely, her husband told where they were. If you look in Judges 1, 12, J.L., however, had her own thoughts about the matter. She was a woman after the heart of God, okay? Jael may or may not have known Israel's God. Nevertheless, the sequence of events suggests that Jael knew enough to know that being on the Lord's side was a better choice. When Israel's victory was certain, Sisera ran for his life to his friend's home. Jael invited him in. She gave the exhausted soldiers something to drink, and then she covered him up. When he fell asleep, Jael took a hammer and she used it to drive a peg through his skull and kill him instantly. Okay? Although we don't know how much about her and her motives, we know enough to celebrate this woman for her great courage, okay? She was absolutely a woman of deep conviction. Despite what had been going on in her relationship, she saw the bigger picture. She realized that helping Israel was the right thing to do above anything else that she had heard from her own people in her own village. Woman who was honored as Deborah and Jael were used by God to accomplish his purpose of delivering his people from their enemies. Although Jael's actions fulfilled Deborah's prophecy, she may have known only that Israel was on the Lord's side, but that was enough for her. She didn't need anything else to help Israel win the battle. She didn't need anything else. She felt her heart was convicted by the Lord, and she moved. There are times in a woman's life when she must take a stand, and I think that God is calling for women to take a stand right now. And it may mean risking your career, your social status, or something else more precious, okay? Life will present you with many battles and many decisions, so choose them carefully. Life and death are in the power of the tongue, okay? Never go to the end of battle unless you are on the Lord's side. Never fight for the sake of personal glory. Be certain that your motive is the liberation and redemption of God's people. And you got to say hallelujah to that. Because if you're not working for God, who are you working for? At the end of the day, 
You are not worth up for God. Who are you working for? You have to ask yourself. Your life should be dedicated to doing the Lord's work. So if you are not working for God, who are you working for? Okay? And what have you taken a stand for in your life? Ask yourself, how have I taken a stand? Okay. What have I sacrificed? How has God received the glory from my life? How can you look at me and say, oh, that's a child of God right there. What have I done? You have to ask yourself that. So as I wrap this up, I want to ask you ladies that question. Ask yourself, what have I done in my life that gives God the glory so people will know that I am a child of God? What have I done? What am I doing? What am I putting into place? What kind of legacy am I leaving behind? We need to ask ourselves that every single day, not just sometimes. And we should write down and be intentional, okay? Just like this woman was. She was intentional. She said, something is not right. I'm going to help these people despite what everybody is saying about them. I'm helping these people because what is going on is not right. We are in a time when stuff is not right and people are still standing by acting like they do not see. Okay. You better be real careful and very mindful when you sit around and you watch injustice and things go on and you act like you do not see. Okay. Take care of yourselves and each other. Support each other at all costs, okay? Because we are all God's children, all of us. Have a good evening. All right? Be safe. Take care.